Hey, I just wanted to make this quick short video talking about Serene Rue and uh, what you can use it for and also my favorite smudging blend. As you can see here, this is a wonderful Persian style smudging blend that you can use. You don't exactly need to use that, but I'm going to talk about some main ingredients that are antibacterial that you can also add to your own smudging uh, blend and make your own customized version that way so as i said this is a persian blend uh, that's why the vibrant uh, colors and uh, a couple of other stems in there as well but if i were to make my own i would focus mainly on serene rue now what is serene rue it's basically known by its uh, actual name which is a uh, paganum harmala and it's used traditionally in various cultures particularly parts of the middle east is also used in central asia in africa because it contains medicinal religious and ritualistic properties and it contains alkaloids such as harmine harmaline and also another uh, alkaloid that i'm not able to, to um, pronounce at the moment but i would make sure that i'll write it down right here and it also has psychoactive properties now in some traditional practices serene rue is used ceremonially for its um spiritual and healing benefits as well and it's also been uh, noted that it is uh, a really good antibacterial herb that helps to cleanse the area and helps to cleanse the space as both spiritually and also uh, physically in terms of the uh, antibacterial antiviral properties now when it comes to smudging this is a practice that's associated with the native american tradition and they use white sage but in the middle east rather than white sage we just use the rue and different countries in the middle east they have different ways to use it and they have also different blends that they like to add so my favorite blend to use for cleansing and for purifying is a blend of alum crystals as you can see here we have some bay leaves we have rock salt we have a little bit of black pepper and we also have serene rue uh, right there as well and apart from that there's a blend of a couple of other different things that are colored in that i'm not a big fan on, of uh, but this is exactly what i would do if i was wanting to smudge and then you just take about a half a teaspoon of that put it on some hot charcoal and then the smoke will come and you're going to go around the house with open windows of course and you're going to smudge the house that way so this is a wonderful blend highly recommend you get onto it just look into it and also safety um, keep in mind that you do not do that around children you don't do that if someone does have any sort of respiratory issues or anything like that i wish you all the best take care bye bye